Hi there and welcome. This is Nellie Deutsch and today we're going to take a look at how to embed a Quizlet study set. Whether you're a student, a teacher, or anyone else who's using it, really, really simple and a great way to embed it in your website or in your course and in an LMS such as Moodle. It makes it so much easier for students and teachers to be able to play it learn and practice straight from the course and not have to go anywhere else which is why Quizlet offered this amazing opportunity now let's take a look at the bottom of this Quizlet set and let's see what's available here we're looking at share copy statistics and the three dots in this case we're going to focus on the three dots usually the three dots indicate settings let's see if that's true we're going to open it up and see what's available now notice what's available here in the pop-up yes it's a pop-up there was add to class or folder and you are encouraged to do this if your teacher has created a class for you printed if you'd like combine and embed we're going to click on embed so we can get the embed code now notice how easy this is now notice it gives you all these options but it doesn't really matter because when you copy it you get the whole study set and i'm going to show you what it looks like in a moodle course i'm going to copy the html or the code as it's called and then let me go over to the site now I'm going in as a student or the teacher who's ever taking this course and I'm going to add a discussion topic right here. So let me do that now. Add a discussion topic. Okay, right here. Because I want to show you the two options that are available. There's reply and there is post. So now I'm posting. Now notice what happens when you post. This is Moodle 4.3.3, the latest Moodle version. Now notice over here, we're going to go into tools, but this is what it will look like in an editor called Tiny MCE. There are two editors on Moodle, Tiny MCE and Auto. You go into your profile and settings and make sure that you have Tiny MCE, which is what I'm using right now. Notice we're going to go into tools because that's where you're going to add the code, the HTML code. But before that, we need to add to the subject line. So I'm going to call it embed, embed Quizlet. Now, when I say Quizlet, I mean the whole set. Okay, so I can just make it clear a Quizlet study. study set okay just to be clear okay there we are next as i said i go into tools now i'm going to go into source code this is a pop-up source code click on the source code and then i get a highlighted area if there's information here ignore it just paste the code that you got and then don't forget to save or it's going to disappear now make sure that you see an editor because if you go into reply you may not see an editor i'll show you there save click on it and there it is ready to play now notice you've got all the modes here you can start the game but if you go into choose over down here okay choose a study mode you will get all the modes available okay let's open that up there so we've got match learn flashcards and spell okay i hope you can see that if not it's all there next i'm going to post a form remember to do that or it won't be available now i'm going to go in and i'm going, I'm going to reply to myself because i want to show you what it looks like without the editor okay when we don't have an editor we cannot embed because you won't see the tool so let me go into reply I'm going to hit reply down here because this is a reply to a post. Okay, so there it is, reply. 
click on that and then notice what I get. I don't get an editor. I get a blank space to add my content, but no editor. What I need to do is go into advanced. Okay, that's what you need to do. Go into advanced. Once in advanced, let me show you that again, you'll be able to see the editor. This is on Moodle 4.3.3. In previous Moodle versions or in future Moodle versions, it may be different, but this is what it's like in the latest Moodles. So you click on Advanced, and after you clicked on Advanced, you will see the editor, and that's when you can embed. Otherwise, you will not be able to embed because you will not see tools, and you'll only see tools if you're using, that's right, Tiny MC Editor, which is what this one is called. The other one is called Auto. So change by going into your preferences. And that's it. Let me embed it again. We'll go into Tools because now we're in Reply, but it doesn't matter. We'll be able to add it here as well once the editor is available, which it is. And there it is once again, and I can send to post, but I'm not going to because I don't want everybody to get this. But I will share the video so everyone understands how it's done. So let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, you're always welcome to ask, and I'll be right there, ready to answer them. Have a great day, and enjoy Quizlet and Moodle and embedding, because that's what we do these days. We embed.